All right, hello everybody. This is Jeremy. This fifty two eighty here with a very highly requested, um, finally out a collection update here of my airplanes, um, my collection here. Um, I put a bunch of time into getting all the airplanes laid out here. Um, then I went through and put a bunch of facts on this piece of paper. It's four pages. Um, if I want to go front and back. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys everything. Um, I've been collecting for. Uh, about five years now um and that time i've acquired um 266 one to 400 aircraft that's the active aircraft four of them are parts planes which i'll show you um are actually yeah four of them and those are down in a different area um in various stages of repair uh probably to be custom or just to have a better use for them i also have five one to 200 airplanes one one to 250 scale and one one to 500 scale um, and every single one of those airplanes is here right now, except for one, which is in my college dorm room. So um, I with, I'll get out to the update. Um, we're gonna, I have a bunch of stats for you, which I'll hit you with at various phases. Most of the airplanes are on the big table here. We have the Delta fleet, the United fleet, the American fleet, um, all my cargo airplanes over here. Iceland Air is over here. Some of my international fleets, Air Canada is over here. This table we've got Frontier Spirit, Southwest, JetBlue, Alaska, Hawaiian, and I think that's it over there, uh, Virgin's included. Over here we have the Lufthansa fleet, and most international fleet. Here we have our last two Qantas planes, and then we have um, our 1 to 200s. We'll start out on the 400 scale. Um, I'm going to go in order of the largest fleets, so we might be jumping around a little bit, but I promise we will get everything. Um, at some point. So um, the way I have it laid out is each of these will take about two rows. Um, we're gonna go through biggest to smallest, starting with United, which is my largest aircraft fleet. It's made up of 46 total aircraft. Eight of those are wide bodies, 22 are narrow bodies, and 16 are regional jets. So the first aircraft is United 747-400 by Gemini. Then we're moved to our Gemini 777-300 and 200. And then we have a 764 from Gem or from Herpa. Next up's our Gemini 787-9, two 787-8s, and a 787-300ER. Uh, move to our 757 fleet. My first model aircraft here, um, one of, my first one of 400, was this United 757-300. Then we also have two Gemini 752s and an NG um, Star Alliance 752. Then we move to our United 737s. So we have an Air Classics 737 MAX 9 and a Gemini MAX 9. Then we have our Eco Skies Gemini uh, 900ER. Two um, 900ERs from Gemini. Um, one of these was my one of my fifth models, one of my first two 737s. Um, then we have our NG New Livery 800. JC Wings uh, Star Alliance 800. Gemini Old Livery 800. Our Gemini 700. Um, next line is going to be our Airbuses. So we have our Gemini A320. Um, this is the Aero Classics A320, Velocity Models A320, Gemini Stars and Bars Retro A320, Aero Classics Tulip Livery A320, and then we have our 319s. I'm going to move over here just so I can see the tail numbers. Um, we have 835 here and 836, which was my second aircraft. Um, those are both Gemini's, the twins there. And then we have the Aero Classics A319, the new livery Panda Models A319. Highly recommend this one if you're looking for one. And then we have the regionals. Um, we have 16 RJs. Um, first up is going to be a pair of three or a trio of three Gemini E175s. Our new Gemini. New livery Gemini UN75, and then a tw twins, the uh, Gemini UN70s. Same tail number on those. They have our new livery, CRJ 700, 705, whatever you want to call it. Um, two of the old livery 700s, a Tulip 700, two old livery CRJ 200s, and then three um, Embraer 145s. And last but not least is our Saab, or not Saab, this is the... Um, Bombardier Dash AQ 200. So that is the Dash. That concludes United of our eight wide bodies, 22 narrow bodies, 16 regional jets. Um, let's see, where should we move to next? Next up will be Delta. 
Delta is my second largest fleet, my largest narrow body fleet coming in at 30 aircraft. Um, we have five wide bodies and six RJs. First up is the Gemini 222, then I have a Gemini 33300 and a Gemini 33200. Herpa, um, breast cancer 764, and then a Gemini 763. Seven fives, we have the Gemini 753. Um, two of the 705 Tango or 703 Tango whiskeys, the um, international configuration 752s, one Sky Team. This was the original Gemini one in the international configuration. Then we have the newer Gemini 752. And then here is my first 757. Um, this was my, uh, this is the Delta 752 by Gemini 53 November Whiskey. Then we have the non winglet version as well. I missed it, this um, United 763 was my first wide body. Next up, we're moving to our 737s. We have the Scimitar Gemini 739, uh, the CE Woolman Badge Gemini, um, the Blank Gemini, and the Spirit of Seattle one. 800s, we have a custom Sky Team 738 here. Then I have a Gemini 738, 3744 Foxtrot, and then 30, 375 Delta Alpha, the other Gemini 738. Last but not least is 301 Dairy Queen, what I call it the uh, last Gemini 737. This is 700. Over to the Airbuses, we got an Aero Classics A321, Gemini A321, uh, two, both of the Gemini 320s. Aero Classics A319, I have 332 November Bravo. And then we have the, the Twins 348 and 349 November Bravo, the Gemini 319s. After that's our Delta A220. This one's 101 Delta November. You know, the tail number's wrong. It's actually Delta Uniform in real life. It doesn't bother me. After that, we have three 717s. First one, eyebrows. These are all Gemini's 935. Then the next one's 922 with no eyebrows. The last one is 896 without the eyebrows. Back to one of my favorite fleets, the MD-88, MD-90 fleet. Here we have our MD-88 947 Delta Lima. Then we have our first or our three Delta, Delta MD-90s. We have 903, 902, and 901, which was my first T-tail. And then here we have our regional jets. We have our Herpa Delta 170 um, then the Gemini Delta 170 then very rare model here, the Delta CRJ 900. We have two um, CRJ 700s and one CRJ 200. Our next largest fleet is American Airlines, 40 aircraft in the American fleet, one less than Delta. Um, this is five wide bodies, 29 narrow bodies, and six regional jets. First up is our Gemini 333, Gemini 222, Gemini 787-9, and then we have our Gemini 763 and the 7631 World Gemini, and then our Gemini 752. We're gonna do the Airbuses first for this one because it's the largest, larger or more interesting fleet. We have two of the Gemini A321s, then we have the Air Classics, very rare 101 November November A321. Two non shark lidded, um, this is 579 Uniform Whiskey, you actually flown on this plane. Um, two of these guys, Air Classics, then we have the Gemini non shark lit version, and then we have a custom US Airways. Um, I swapped the, the American title and put on new wings for the, new, the correct engine type. So that's another A321. After that, we have two A320s, both are Aero Classics. Then we have two A319s of Sharklets. First one's Aero Classics, second one is Gemini Jets. After that's a Gemini Jets A319 with no Sharklets, and then the Aero Classics with no Sharklets. Then we have four customs here of the retro colors. Um, A319s, uh, Air America West, PSA, Piedmont, and Allegheny, which I've flown on. I've also flown on some of the Delta planes. Um, which is pretty cool, and done this United plane, the 104. Um, where were we? All right, after that, we have our 737 fleet. We have the Gemini 971, two of Gemini's 908 November, November, Custom One World 738, the Gemini One World 738, Air Cal, TWA, Reno Air. This is my retro. It's actually one of the older... American 738 models, but I just kept it and used it as my retro. And then we have the Max 8, which is currently grounded. After that, we have our American MD-80 and the American E-190, both Gemini. After that, we're gonna move to our regionals. 
we have an E175 by Gemini, E175 without the spatulates, or 170, whatever. This mo this model is actually made on a 170 mold. And I don't remember what the box says, but for, or the, air, the tail number is actually 170, or 175, so I don't really know what's going on there. Then we have our 145, and then a custom CRJ900, CRJ700 by Gemini, and a CRJ200 by Gemini. Next up, we're gonna move over to our next table here. This is our 1999 and we're gonna go see our next largest fleet, which is the Southwest fleet. Um, first up, we have three Max 8s. Um, two of them are 8705 Quebec, and the last one's 8706 Whiskey. And then we have two Gemini 738s, both Heart 1. And then, personally, my favorite Southwest model in my collection, I think, besides Colorado 1, has to be this NG737-800. Uh, it's an amazing model, get one if you can. I also do have the new NG models, 737 and the old livery coming. It will be here soon. Um, then we have the Warrior One, uh, Gemini version. Then we move to our 700s. This is the largest um, fleet of for Southwest in my collection. One old livery 700, two Aero Classic 700s, and then four Gemini 700s. These are amazing models as well. A little tail heavy, but super good mold. Then we move to our specials. We have one Triple Crown One, Colorado One, um, Illinois one, Maryland one, and the 737-300. Our next largest fleet will be JetBlue right over here. This fleet's a little spread out and a very diverse fleet coming with Aero Classics, Velocity Models, Gemini Jets. Um, super cool. First up's our Aero Classics JetBlue 321. Then we have the Gemini JetBlue 321. Then we have two Blueberries Tails. Um, the first one's the Gemini version with Sharklets. Second one's Velocity Without. Absolutely love this model. Then we have the Velocity um, A320 barcode with sharklets, and then the Gemini 320 barcode with sharklets. Next up, we have the Velocity Tartan Tail 320 and the Gemini High Rise. Then we have the Aero Classics, or this, this is Aero Classics as well, my bad. Um, Aero Classics, I Love New York. Uh, Velocity Models, um, Blue Manatee. Air Classics, FDNY, Air Classics, um, Vets in Blue, Air Classics, I think this is the honoring those, Blue Finest, sorry, I can never remember the name, um, Air Classics Retro, and Air Classics Blue for Good, and then our three 190s, we have two Gemini barcodes and one Gemini in the uh, blueprint tail. Next largest fleet's Alaska with 19 aircraft. Um, I did include Virgin America in here, um, I do still have a very large Virgin fleet with Virgin America fleet with five aircraft. Um, I've, I'll we'll go through those in just a second. But um, if you know me, you know that I love Virgin America. It was very sad to see them go. Um, but anyways, we're gonna hit the 737s first. First up is my first 737. This is the Alaska 737-900ER. Came the same day as the United one, but I got this one out first, and this one I remember is the first one. That's the new livery uh, 737-900ER. Mortal Love 900, uh, these are all three Geminis. Honoring those who serve 900 was Gemini. Then we have the Cars Special Livery, which is a Phoenix model. Then we have the Gemini Salmon 37. Then we have the Boeing Livery 737-800, Gemini, Gemini 738. And my most recent acquisition is this um, Gemini 737-700 for Alaska. Uh, for the Airbuses, most of these are, at, those were all Geminis for the 7.3s, most, except for the one Phoenix. Most of these are actually Aero Classics, except for two. Um, first up's the Aero Classics, Alaska A321neo. Then we have the Mortal Love. I have 927 Victor Alpha. Then we have the Aero Classics Virgin America 321neo. This is 921. Then we have the Aero Classics Alaska 320. Aero Classics Virgin A320 Sharklets 361. Victor Alpha, then we have 622, which is the Aero Classics without sharklets. We have the Gemini version without sharklets here, which is 625. And then we have the Gemini A319. And then here we have our Gemini Alaska Skywest U175, and then it will not stay forward, but we have the Alaska Q400 here as well. So there we go with that one. Next up is going to be Frontier, one of my favorite fleets to collect. Um, 
especially early on, I, and when they started coming out with more, I was like eager to get more because you guys know I have a Denver update. Frontier's based here. Again, take say what you will about the airline, but they do have a very cool, diverse fleet with all the tails. Um, your big Neos, my largest A320 Neo fleet is Frontier. So we're gonna hit this one next. First up, we have four Aero Classics A321s, Otto the Owl, this is Max the Lynx, Virginia the Wolf, and um, Courtney the Cougar. Then we have um, our 320 Neos, um, Aero Classics, Wilbur the Whitetail, Flo the Flamingo, um, Sunny the Colored Lizard, and Colorado the Bison. And then our last one is um, Nia the Dolphin here uh, for the Neos. Then we're going to start old to new with custom um, A320. Those were all Aero Classics, by the way. Uh, first up is a custom of um, uh, can, yeah, the Sea Turtle. Um, I can't remember its name. Oh, that, it'll come back to me. Uh, sea Turtle. Then we have Thunder the Bison, another custom. Then we have a model that will be... Um, heading to its new home here very shortly, Bugsy the Tree Frog Custom, and then Finn the Tiger Shark Custom. Then we have here, we have a custom of Betty the Bluebird, and then Velocity Models, um, uh, Griswold the Bear, and Velocity Models, uh, Orville the Cardinal. Um, I really loved Velocity Models. I have a good friend who ran it, or he was the owner, um, and uh, they were one of my favorite companies to collect. So I do still have a lot of those floating around. Um, and, and they're pretty much our classics models, but they were very precise and the colors were really accurate and uh, great quality models, really nice. So totally recommend them if you can find them. Um, our next fleet is Air Canada. Um, so we're gonna move back to this table for those. And then we'll be headed right back for Spirit. But um, first up for Air Canada is our 737 MAX 8 by Gemini Jets. Then we have the Phoenix models, uh, Air Canada A321, Air Classics A320, Air Classics A319, Air Classics Rouge A319, and then our Gemini E190. Then we have a custom um, E170 that I did here, 175. And then we have a Gemini CRJ900, Gemini CRJ200, and then I just threw in the WestJet Encore next to it because it was pretty much over here. Um, that is our next largest fleet with nine aircraft. Frontier with 16. Spirit here is our next one with seven. So first up is going to be the 321 by Aero Classics. 320 Neo by Aero Classics. Uh, 320 by Gemini. Uh, 320 in the old livery. 638 November Kilo flown on this plane by Aero Classics. Then we have our 320 without sharklets by Aero Classics. Another model that is headed out today. Uh, this is a Spirit 319 by Gemini in the old livery. Really love this plane, um, but it was on the list for things that I could let go. Um, great model if you can find me, pick it up. And then the last but not least is Velocity Spirit 319, uh, 534 November Kilo. After that, we're headed to our Lufthansa fleet, our largest international fleet. Um, all these aircraft are Phoenix except one Gemini. First up is going to be our Lufthansa A380 by Phoenix Models. Super good model here. Then we have our Lufthansa Retro 747-8i. The only Gemini in the Lufthansa fleet is this 747-400. Then we have a Lufthansa A340-600 by Phoenix. And a Lufthansa A330-300 by Phoenix Models as well. Next largest fleet is Iceland Air with four. We're getting smaller. Icelander 763 by Phoenix. Icelander 752 by NG. Icelander 752 Hecla Aurora by NG. And then um, Icelander 752 Fat New Yorker, uh, eight years of aviation um, by Gemini Jets. If you haven't noticed, I really love, love NG models. Um, I will go ahead and say they're probably my, currently my favorite um, manufacturer for what they're putting out right now. They're doing the best stuff, best quality, some really cool new releases. If you don't have any, go pick one up. Uh, they had a great one, and uh, I've already hinted that the Southwest is on its way, um, and you'll find out with the next one that's on its way as well. There's three model, more models. I'll let you guys guess the last two. I'll, um, I'll give you a hint at the end, um, but I'll also give you the hint for the third. Anyways, next order is Airtran with three aircraft. 
I used to fly Air Train a lot as a kid, so I really loved um, loved Air Train and love collecting Air Train models. I'm, I gotta get a 737-700. It's been on the list forever. Um, just haven't gotten around to it. But I have three 717s, which were what I flew on mostly. First up is um, 948 Alpha Tango. Um, I have a model 1200 of this. That's the one that's not here. Um, it's in my college dorm. But this one is Gemini 717. Then we have a um, Airtran um, Gemini 717. This one is um, 986 Alpha Tango. And the last one is our Orlando Magic. And I just need to make sure this is a, it's branded actually as a Phoenix model, which I mistakenly did when I did my count. Uh, it's branded as a Phoenix model, but it was produced on the Gemini molds back when those guys were cool with each other, not big competitors. Um, but they, um, this is the Orlando Magic one. Super cool airplane. Love the paint on this. Pick one up if you can. All right, so that is the AirTran fleet. Um, I'm off my soapbox about that. Next up is going to be our Swiss fleet with three aircraft. Um, first up is the A340-300 by Aero Classics. Then I have an A330-300. Sorry, 340-300. And this is a 330-300 by also by Aero Classics. And then we have the CS100. I don't call it an A220 in this video, so I'm calling it CC, CS100. This is the production. This is like the demo plane that Bombardier had. Really love this model. It's super cool. It's by JC Wings. I believe it could be a Herpa. Let me give one second. Oh, actually, it is Herpa. My bad. That means I have four Herpas. Sorry, it's tough to remember what these are all made by. Um, after that's going to be our British Airways collection. This is made up of a Gemini Jet 747-400, an Apollo One World 744, and a Gemini A380-800. Alright, after that we're headed back to the United States for Allegiant. This one has a semi-custom A319 by Gemini, and then a regular Gemini A319 yellow livery. Next up are UPS and FedEx fleets. Each of them, they're twin fleets, each of them made up of an MD-11 and a 763, both by Gemini. And there's the FedEx versions. After that, our next largest is our Aeromexico fleet, also with two. We have a 738 by Gemini with scimitars, and then a 737-700, also by Gemini. Our next Mexican airline with two is Valeris with the Phoenix A321 and a Velocity A320. After that, we're gonna head over to Kiwanis. I know I'm going all over the place, but we have a Kiwanis A380 by Gemini and the Kiwanis 787-9 by Phoenix in the special colors. Next up, we're gonna hit all the airlines we missed along the way. First up is gonna be Sun Country here. Um, this is a lone wolf right now in the collection, but I'll give you a hint of the new NG Models version. We'll be joining it soon in the Tide Pod livery. Excited to have that one, should look really cool. Our next, Lonely one is going to be the Trump Shuttle 752 by NG Models. Then we're just going to run down here. Um, we already hit WestJet, but then we have the WOW A320 Neo by Phoenix. Super cool that the uh, turbofans actually turn in this one. Then we have a Gemini Copa 738. Um, I believe this is JC Wings. I believe this is a JC Wings model 737 Max 8. Boeing colors. We have the Bombardier House colors for the C Series. Patriot 763 here. Um, I'm not a big Patriots fan. I actually really don't like them. Sorry if that offends you. Um, but it's a really cool model and I like having it. They have a Prime Air 763 by Phoenix. Super good model here. Then we have the Virgin Atlantic A33300. Air France 77.9. This one is Phoenix. This one's Gemini. Gemini did the Patriots, by the way. And then we're gonna move over here and hit our single Edelweiss plane. Um, this is an A330-300 by Phoenix. Aviation 400, this is my only model from them. Cathay Pacific A350-900, really like this plane. Single ANA Star Wars 7879 by Phoenix. Phoenix models, Eddie Head is triple three. Phoenix models, Air New Zealand triple three. And that I believe, oh no, sorry. Almost concludes it. Then you have a single silver SOP 340B plus and the Bombardier house colors. Um, Turbo Profits Q400, a model that has not made an appearance in an airport update in a while. 
It's been sitting safely in its box because Q400s are really delicate. Um, but hopefully I'll get this one out in an update here soon. All right, that concludes the 1-400 scale. I'll hit some facts about it after. Um, but I'm going to go through the, the odd scale. Our next scale, I guess, is the 1-200 scale. The Trump 7.5 by Gemini. A Icelandair Vatnioko 7.5 by Gemini. My first model ever was this United 7 or A320 by Gemini, Gemini 200. They have a JetBlue Blueprint E190 by Gemini as well. And I put a little sign here um, for my Gemini 200 Air Trans 717 that is not here. It's in my dorm in college. Then we have our single Gemini It's 250 um, 908 Delta Lima with this MD88. And a very special model to me, this 1 to 500 Lufthansa 747-400. DABVY was the model I flew to Frankfurt a couple years ago when I went to Switzerland. So that's why I have this model, um, the only version of it. All right, we're going to hit some fast facts about this. Um, before that, we'll do the hint, the hint for my next two models. If you can guess them down below, they're by NG models. I'll give you a hint. Um, I have currently three of that type of aircraft. They are the largest air, airline in Denver, and it is a Boeing model. You should be really easy to figure it out if you know the NG models releases. Drop it in the comments down below if you get it right. I'll give you a shout out when those models make it into the next video. Anyways, some quick facts before we move on, or before we end the video, I guess. I know it's getting really long. If you made it this whole way, you're awesome. Hopefully you're one of those 561 subscribers that I had at the beginning of this video. If you're not, drop a subscription down below. Really appreciate it. Anyways, um, we're going to go through some facts here. My largest aircraft manufacturer in my fleet collection is Boeing with 114 aircraft. That is made up of seven 717s, 61 737s. One of those is a 300. 15 of those are 700s. 26 are 800s. 11 are 900s. 6 are max 8s and 2 are max 9s. Next up is the 747, made up of five aircraft, four 400s, and one dash eight. After that's the 75s with 16, 14 200s, and two 300s. And then we have 767s, have 11 aircraft, nine 300s, and two 400s. Triple sevens are made up of seven. We have three 200s and four 300s. Then I have seven 787s, eight, two of them are dash eights, and five of them are dash nines. Out of that is going to be the Airbus collection, made up of 102 aircraft, 88 of those are A320 family, 22 are 319s, 37 are 320s, 18 are 321s, 6 are 320 NEOs, and 5 are 321 NEOs. Then our 330 family has 8 aircraft, 3 200s, 5 300s. A340s have 2 aircraft, 1 300, 1 600. I also have 1 A350 and 3 A380s. McDonnell Douglas is our next largest, or is another fleet. It's not the next largest, but it's got seven aircraft, two MD-11s, three MD-90s, and two MD-80s. Embraer is our one of our larger fleets, made up of 20 aircraft, um, four U-145s, five U-170s, six U-175s, and five U-190s. But Barnier, um, I included the C-Series because that's who built them. Um, 15 CRJs, 5 200s, 7 700s, and 3 900s. Also, 3 C series with all of them being 100s. And then we also have 4 dash 8s. Two of them are 200s, and three of them are, or sorry, one of them is a 200, and three of them are 400s. Last but not least is Saad with one 340. After that, a quick rundown of the aircraft manufacturers. This is an order, I don't have the right counts. I tried to do it like three times and I, well, I was close with this one. Um, obviously I have mostly Gemini Dits, then Air Classics, Phoenix, Customs, Velocity, NG, JC, Herpa, Panda, and Aviation 400, and Apollo. An aircraft category here, 185 narrow bodies, 46 wide bodies, and 35 regional jets. Anyways, I like, thank you guys so much for watching. We got the terminals off the mat right now. Some of them over there. Some down here. Um, here's the aircraft shop. We got a Gulf Traveler down there. Triple three, UN70, and a broken Max 8. Um, anyways, I'm gonna cut it off here before we hit 30 minutes. 
Like, thank you guys so much for watching, making this an amazing five years. I do collect because you guys watch videos and make these videos because you watch them. If you're not subscribed, drop a subscription down below, turn on the notifications. If you are and have been for a while, thank you so much. Appreciate it over the years. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in a bit. Have a good one.